We are back with Pour Your Poison and I'm Clint. It's a sad, sad day. This is the last video we're shooting in this kitchen. Today, we're gonna make lime cordial, AKA uh, Rose's lime juice. Most of you know it as, uh, very common in bars. Um, this way it's a little more fresh, which is what we shoot for here at Pour Your Poison. The main ingredients, water, limes, of course, pre-squeezed lime juice, which always helps. We're gonna need a cup and a half of sugar, citric acid, which is very important in this. Uh, really makes the citrus pop, and the cream of tartar, which will help actually settle this. We're actually gonna add the water, cup and a half to the pot. We're gonna turn the heat on high, and we are going to combine the citric acid and the creme of tartar to the sugar, so it's all blended up evenly, no clumps. Three quarters of a teaspoon of citric acid, and we are doing a half teaspoon of the creme of tartar. We're gonna blend this up, just stir it up, Make sure it's all blended, no clumps. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of want to disperse the acids and the tartar. All right, so now it's basically like you're making a simple syrup. So we're just going to add this. Stir this until it's dissolved. Fresh squeeze limes for about a cup of juice. If you want it a little more acidic or a little more lime tasting, you can use more. And then we're using the zest or the peel of three limes and I'd recommend using a potato peeler if you're peeling it or you can zest them with a zester either or I'm peeling it bigger clumps less mess uh, just easier to work with so here I have three zest of three limes wait till the last of that sugar is dissolved in that solution so now we're actually going to kill the heat completely just for a minute um, this is where you're going to add the juice you don't want to add the juice to a boiling pot because it will kill the flavor of it so we're going to add the juice pulp and all is fine and make sure you're actually stirring this as you go, just so it disperses the heat equally. And now we're just gonna add the zest of the, of the three limes. We're gonna stir this around, make sure this is all submerged. And we're gonna fire this back up. Should take just a minute to boil. Once it starts to boil, you don't wanna overboil it. We're gonna simmer it down to a low heat. We're gonna simmer for about one to two minutes. We're gonna pull it. You have lime cordial. Super, super easy to do at home. And when it comes to super easy at home, you can find the creme of tartar or the citric acid. You can find it at most spice stores. All right, so now that this has come to a simmer again, we're gonna kill the heat. This is gonna sit for a minute. We're gonna stir it around, keep it active. Once it's done, we're gonna kill the heat. We're gonna strain it. I'll show you how to do that in just one second. Now that this has been simmering for a couple minutes, we're gonna kill the heat. We're gonna throw it in the refrigerator. We're gonna pull it out after about one day. You're gonna let it sit with the lime peels in it. This is gonna pick up a lot of lime flavor. Uh, once you pull it from the refrigerator, we're gonna strain it out and bottle it. All right, so we pre-made a batch of lime cordial. We had it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. We're gonna pull it, and now I'm gonna show you how to strain it. And as you can see, after 24 hours, it actually loses a lot of color in the lime. Uh, the color really bleeds out, pick up a lot of the color from the lime peel. And uh, we're just gonna strain this with a strainer into a pitcher or whatever you have accessible at home. So I'm gonna use a pitcher. We're gonna throw it right in there. And we're going to discard the peels. And you're gonna need a funnel, little bottle. And we are going to pour that into the bottle. And we're gonna cap that, and we're gonna be ready to go. And there you have homemade lime cordial. Enjoy, let us know what you think. We'll see you soon on Pour Your Poison.